First of all, what's it like being back in Tucson? It's great to be back in Tucson. Uh, Regina and I's boys are, are Nicholas and Davis are a senior and junior here at U of A. So, um, you know, we're going to try to get back here as much as we can. We've got a lot of great lot, lifelong friends here in the community and, and uh, the people here at the University of Arizona are good, good people. So it's great to be back. Have you been back? Had you been back since you left? Been back uh, uh, a couple times when Regina was still out here. And then, uh, and then we came actually out on our, our bye weekend in football and had a chance to come out and kind of put the feet up for a couple days, which was nice. Any surprises since you've been with Alabama? No, not really. A uh, lot to get your arms around. It's a, it's a big operation there. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, I, I always used to say that the closest thing to an SEC fan base in the West was Arizona. And, uh, you know, the Southeastern Conference is a really special conference. And um, the coaches there have been great, including Coach Saban. He's been awesome. And, uh, and so we've just been get, trying to get our arms around it. And that's taken a lot of time. And, uh, but uh, I feel a lot more comfortable than I was nine months ago. What's it like being Nick Saban's boss? <laughs> Um, well, the way I always say it's a partnership. Uh, he is, uh, I've been around coaches my entire life. Uh, he's as driven and as focused a coach as I've ever been around. His, his, uh, his kids love playing for him. Uh, he's had great success from a staffing standpoint. We just had another Jeremy uh, uh, Pruitt, our defensive coordinator, just became the head coach of Tennessee. And, uh, and so to sit down and talk with them and, and learn about uh, football from them, obviously, it is really special. But we talk a lot about, a lot about leadership and, and just uh, where we're going as, as, a, as a football program, but where we're going in college athletics as a whole. And it's, you know, there's a lot of change right now. So it's, it's been really interesting to, to have those conversations with them. Speaking of coaches, since you're back in Tucson, have you had a chance to catch up with Sean since you've been here? Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll run into each other here. Obviously, he's been getting this team ready. Uh, Sean's been a longtime friend of, of mine, and, and his wife Amy and Regina are very close. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're big fans of the Millers and big fans of Arizona basketball. Obviously, we're on separate sides today. Uh, and uh, and but we, you know, we're always always rooting for the Cats. What was your initial reaction back in September when the news of the investigation broke? Obviously, of concern uh, for for everybody involved and, and something that uh, uh, that it, you know it's, it's it's sad that it's that this issue's here but it's something that everybody has to deal with very seriously how do you think this changes the outlook of college basketball as a whole you know i don't know if it, I, I think at the end of the day all programs and the coaches that i've worked with uh, on the head coaching side is they they want to they want to do things the right way and uh, and we spent a lot of time with that here at Arizona. Uh, did the same thing at Alabama, and so it's an important part of what you do. And, and you always have to be committed to a, from a compliance standpoint. Do you think it can be fixed? It's the image has taken quite a hit, just as among, among college basketball as a whole. It, uh, there's a lot of good that goes on within the, the walls of an athletics department. Um, you have 500 student athletes. You have 250 employees. There are going to be issues that happen. And it's important, though, when you have those issues, that you do your best to deal with them uh, and, and protect the integrity of, of the institution. That doesn't mean you're always going to get it right, but because sometimes you don't have all the information. But uh, uh, I certainly know that everybody here at Arizona, us at Alabama, and throughout college basketball want to do things the right way. From your perspective, um, when programs, any athletic program is implicated in any sort of way, especially in this instance, how much responsibility does the athletic director bear? Well, as an athletics director, you're going to be involved with every aspect of your program. And uh, while you certainly can't know what everybody's doing 24 hours a day, you have to create a culture of, of, of doing the right thing and having integrity. With that said, there will be issues that happen. And, uh, and so it, it is important that you create that culture on a daily basis. Obviously, Wildcats basketball is a big part of Tucson and the community as a whole. If you were still here, what would you tell the fan base? Uh, continue to support the young men on the program and the coaches. I, I, I saw that uh, President Robbins and Dave Hickey had, had a really strong show of support for Sean, and uh, I think that's great. Have you spoken to Dave Hickey at all? Yeah, we talk all the time. Dave, I've actually known Dave since I was 17 years old. He, my dad hired him at Oregon, and so I, for a short while in my life, I used to call him Mr. Hickey. <laughs> and so I was thrilled when Arizona hired him. Uh, he and Liz are great people. Uh, he cares about the student athletes very creative in his thought process, he'll do a great job here. Any predictions for how this one's going to go tonight? I'll, I usually stay out of the prediction business. No predictions? No, no predictions. Oh, we have to ask you, you were pretty vocal on Twitter last weekend about the college football playoff. Do you think they got it right? Yeah, I, I do. And, and I, 
I know a number of people on the committee, you're not allowed to lobby, and so we didn't. Um, but listening to or watching what had been done in the past, they always talked about the four best teams. And obviously, uh, uh, we lost to a very tough, a very good Auburn team down at the Iron Bowl, and it was, I was there at the game, and it was an electric atmosphere, and Auburn deserved the credit with the, with the win. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, at the end of the day, when you looked at the landscape, we thought we were one of the four best teams, and we felt very fortunate to, to get in and be a part of it. Now we got to go play Clemson, and we'll have our hands full.